Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. We're here at the Water Temple. I think we're gonna finally cleanse this crystal. So let's walk up here and see what's happening. Wait, something isn't right. The air is charged. It's totally different from before. Look, there, in the crystal. Oh. Rusalka, that's Rusalka, purveyor of doom. It's the same as the last time. We can't awaken the crystal until we're rid of the beast, Agnes. Then I have no choice. I must do this! Alright. Let's beat... Whatever this is. Okay. Maybe we should take on the approach of beating it as quick as humanly possible. This might be a terrible idea. But you know what? I'm just gonna not think about it. This is water, right? I'm just gonna guess fire, and if I'm wrong, well, then that sucks for me, I guess. Okay, with Anyas, we're gonna go ahead and do some hidden dragons here. Okay, and then with Ring of Bell, Piercing Bolt, and then we'll do an arrow. So yeah, this is probably a terrible idea, but you know what? Okay, so maybe not. I'll try Thunder next time. I'll try Thunder and see if that's its actual weakness point. Yeah, I wish Ring of Bell would have gone first this instance so it could raise up the M attack, but it's not that big of an issue, honestly. Think you're ready? Okay. Yeah, see, now everyone's M attack is higher. I wish he would have gone first, but it's not that big of a deal, honestly. Okay, so... Yeah, next time we tag with the Dia, we'll try with a little bit of thunder instead. See if that makes any difference. Okay, another charm? Man, we just fought DeRosa last episode and he used the crap out of charms, which is super annoying. Okay, its defense is down. Now Anya's can go for the attack. How perfect is that? Completely calculated, not an accident. Alright, Anya's. Bah! Hit him real good. Love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Okay, well, now we're gonna be pretty prone for a couple turns here. Looks like this guy doesn't even hit that hard, though. Okay, he's gone. So we default then. Ooh, wow, that actually hurt quite a bit. There's four Rasalkas. Okay. Um. Uh. I don't, okay. It's Thundara's on all foes. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, default again. And I'm gonna go ahead and just use Akira. That should be good there. Okay. I, Adia's a bit low. Okay. As long as you don't be with Adia. I'm cool with that. Okay, Tiz is super strong, so that's okay. Hit. Preferably don't hit Ring a Bell. Thunder is their weak point. Okay. Lesson learned. Thunder is the way to go. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and brave. Do some stomps here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do three of those. Piercing Bolt. And then Thundara. That's the thing. So Thunder is good against water. Noted. Okay, and currently Agnes is charmed, so. I'm gonna go ahead and do another Kira just to top everyone off. Don't do that. Don't do that. This decides it. Okay, I'm get that piercing bolt off, so we'll our Emma attack will go up again. Any Sundar should hurt. Yeah, 2,000 each. Those bad boys hurt. We probably could have saved. Well, we could have done th around 3,000 more damage in the first turn, but. Ooh. Dang, Tiz. Man's going crazy. Okay, Anya, so you good now? Right, let's do some hidden dragons up in here. 
don't do that. Okay, that's kind of okay, because she can't move anyway. So, fine with me. Hey, come on, let's beat this water creature. Okay, let's see. Stomp, let's just do some stomps here. See, oh, I can't hit him. Uh, okay. Let's just do default, default, default. Okay, that hurt Adia again a lot. Okay, that's not that bad. Th th this isn't that hard to counter, though. Okay, so what we're gonna do is default, brave twice. We're gonna Thundara everyone. Thundara everyone, default. We're gonna use two Kiras on everyone. And I'm hoping that. Okay, Adia will take care of the clones right away. Perfect. Okay, one of the clones is still alive. Probably literally has 2 HP right now, which is a little frustrating, but that's alright. Okay. Everyone's out of death range. Okay. What we'll do... Oh, I guess I have to do something. Let's just stop one of them, I guess. See which one it is, right? Let's just default one more time. And... Probably use a Kira just directly on Adia, since she's kind of low. Okay, there we go. We got rid of the bad Rasalka. Okay, so now we can actually play the play the game. I'm gonna go ahead and um, yeah, I'm not gonna even use that special. I'm just gonna stomp. Okay, and we'll do the Thundara again. And we still have plenty of MP, so we'll be good in that aspect. Do some more hidden dragons, and I think I probably should die after this barrage of attacks. Okay, we will even do some thunders of the ring of bell. This is dangerous, but I'm gonna do it. You should be dead after this. Oh, we literally had 500 HP. Okay. Fair enough. And turbo ether, and a lot of peak for that. So you love to see it. Good. We're ready to begin the right. All set on yet? <laughs> I'll go over the process for the ritual once more, just to be sure. To awaken it, you must set your own life force to resonate with the crystal's natural rhythm. Focus your prayers on the crystal and don't stop, Agnes. If it works as it should, we'll soon see dramatic results. I know I said it before, but be sure you don't stop before it's done. Keep praying until I give the signal to stop, no matter what. The flow of the crystal's energy could reverse and explode out of control. Is all of that clear, Agnes? I understand. You needn't repeat yourself. Agnes. <laughs> if it does go berserk, do we get a second chance at the ritual? No second chances, which is why it's so important you all stay out. All right, Agnes. Let's begin. Right. Spam button. We're good? I was, I was gonna keep mashing it. Yes! It's done! The water crystal is awakened! You did amazing, Anya! <sighs> Anya! Are you alright? She's completely exhausted. I'm fine. No cause for worry. That makes two crystals. We're halfway there. Agnes, you need to rest. You've been pushing yourself this whole time. I told you. I, I'm fine. 
Please, spare me your concern. I have to do this. I have to do it alone. Ooh, okay. Lady Matriarch, the sea! Its waters are clearing! Oh! It's the guidance of the Vestal! Praise be to her! Yay. Okay, so now if we go to abilities, we have one more. Sword lore. Shield. Oh, okay. Well, I think we should probably put sword lore there. We could put... Um, I guess that. We don't have much of a choice as far as that goes. For him... Oh, I guess not much of a choice there. And for her, blind immunity would work. Okay, fair enough. Not, not too crazy of improvements, but hey. Something is something. Okay. Oh, we should save just in case there's something weird that happens at that door there. In case we get like ambushed or attacked. Do we? How's our HP? Okay, we can very quickly just fix the HP with a little bit of cure. There we go. Keep moving on here. The oceans herald your return to us. I take it for a sign the water crystal, too, is returned to its pure state. What joy! And the Vestal of Water, is she not with you as well? <laughs> Olivia Oblige, Vestal of Water, has given her life in the service of the crystals. No, but that can't. I had thought, certainly, certainly the clearing waters were her doing. Lost to us. Gone from this world. What is Florum to do now? It is by your efforts Florum is spared from the Blood Rose Legion's venom. I give you the thanks of all Florence people in the Vestal of Water's stead. The nation will not return to its chaste and proper ways overnight, I'm certain. But once a new Vestal is chosen, the people's hearts will unite behind her. Might I ask where your travels take you next, Lady Vestal? I was told the Vestal of Fire is deceased. I must hurry to the Fire Crystal's side. I see. Then beyond the sea, to Eisenberg and the Temple of Fire. If you follow the waters west of here, ever west, you will find it. So that way for me, First, that way for you. Cross the miasma woods, then to the shore of the inner sea. I shall make a mark of it upon your map. The seas are only newly tamed, and the journey is long. I pray you will be safe. Fair enough. The pendant. Are you alright, Anya? Yes. If you're forcing yourself, you don't. Why? Are you so? Are you so worried about me? Do I make you so worried? Of course, I'm worried about you. After what happened, how could I not be? I'm fine. I haven't the luxury of stopping the mope. When we first met, you were praying to the pendant of yours, weren't you? This the sage gave this to me when I was a child. He said something I didn't properly understand, then handed it to me. What did he say? Have the courage to think and act on your own, and the courage to disobey as well. And should you ever face a danger beyond all hope, this pendant will be your salvation. What do you think he meant? 
I have no idea at the time. Even now, I cannot say that I understand any better. The sage is a mysterious man, but I trust his words were true. Now, that's enough talk. We ought to be moving. Fair enough. Okay, so I think we're officially kind of done with Florum. So, this part of our quest is kind of done here. Let's go ahead and head out, and we head for the um, Fire Nation. Give it a quick saveroo, though. Yep, let's give it a quick saveroo. And oh, we have to head back all the way to the ship. Wait, but we never got a we never got one of those sky stone thingies. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, we have to go back through the woods, back to the ship. Just slightly annoying. All right, through the miasma woods. Now question, and I guess let me try this. If I use a teleport stone, does it take me to the other side? Which side does it take me to? Ah, oh, it takes me to this side. Okay, let's get out of here. What's stronger, scriptural beast or fungi man? It's moving. Again, we still don't have a sky stone, so I don't know how. We can just use the sea. We don't need this. We don't need the sky. We just need the sea. Shall I cast off then? Please. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. So yeah, we just we can't go up in the air anymore. But we can go over here. Dark mood for a nice day's sailing. Agnes, forgive me. For what? What happened to Olivia? I am partly to blame. You may have fought for the duchy, but you've nothing to do with the one who killed Olivia. But I do. That monster. The one they call the witch, Victoria. I knew of her. <clears throat> Just who are you, Adia? Before, when that man attacked, Alternus, you knew him. Better than a simple soldier of the Sky Knight saw it. I hadn't intended to hide who I am. But I should have told you sooner. My father is Grand Marshal of the Eternian Forces. Leader of the Council of Six. What? If the Council is in charge, and he leads the Council... <gasps> Your father's the head of the whole duchy! Then the order to assassinate the Vestal of Water came from your father? I don't know. I don't know. I can't blame you if you blame me for it, though. You don't... You... You intend to stand there and feign heartache and innocence both? Perhaps it was you who communicated Olivia's hiding place to the Duchy! That's not... I wouldn't! Perhaps you were a spy this whole time! Deceiving us even now! Anya, stop! We fought this far together. That means something. Don't doubt it. <gasps> Excuse me. I need rest. I ask that you leave me alone a while. <sighs> we're crossing into open water. Feels bad, man. I think Anya's definitely overreacted there, personally. Like, the fact that that's her father makes no difference in what they've done up until now. Okay, we go to the middle of the ocean. Oh, also, just while. Okay, oh, let me un auto. I don't want to run away. I want to see how tough these guys are. Okay, let's use some thunders. Thunders. Okay, let's use some thunders. 
arrows. While while that's happening, I just really need to fix my webcam here. Y'all can literally see move. I just I need to feel like I'm in the middle. Didn't feel like it. Okay, we're good now. Okay, so air is these guys' weak point. Okay, these guys aren't crazy strong, so that's all right. Not crazy strong. Bam. Okay, thunder works too. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Ooh, a boat thingy. Ah, over here, everyone. Feast your eyes upon this. What's the matter? Oh. Oh, my. Is it a ghost ship? Every RPG needs a ghost ship. Every single one. I've never seen any game that's a good game without a ghost ship. What on earth is that? It's a ghost a ship. ship, perhaps? But it's too big. And it's not moving. I'll wager the women there frolic around in bathing suits all day long. Look, in your dreams, they're Ringo. They're dead, so... What are we waiting for? Let's lodge there tonight. Unacceptable. We've no time for distractions. We must awaken the fire crystal. I am the one at the helm here, no? I'll make the call. Thank you very much. <sighs> okay, we go to the ghost ship then. Glamorous life. This thing's enormous. How many echelots do you think would fit in there? Is it a ship? An island? Have we chanced upon the forbidden sanctuary of the Bikini tribe? Here's hoping they're cannibals with a taste for philanderer. From it looks, it has to be a ship. Some luxury cruise liner, maybe? Luxury what? Crew who? What are you talking about, Adia? It's like a super duper huge boat with extravagance in imaginable. Every cab in a king's bedchamber, every meal a five-star feast, you name it, they have it aboard. Oh, such a thing really exists. And here I've never seen anything bigger than a crabbing ship. It's his, please. You're getting bumpkin all over my feral bikini woman fantasy. Dang it, it's not a ghost ship. I wanted it to be a ghost ship. Or should I say this town looks like a ship? I'm confused. I can feel us rocking. It's floating all right. <gasps> Where are all the scantily clad girls? Oh, what a letdown. Oh, I dropped my glasses cleaning thing. Looks like a pirate ship. Well. Well, here's some faces I haven't seen before. New to the ship? Indeed. Then the seas must have cleared up everywhere, and not just here. Excellent news. Say, have any of you seen a lad by the name of Zatz? Nope. He's hurt and supposed to be staying off his feet, but he wandered off. If you see him, can you bring him back to the tavern? Sure. He's a scrawny, fidgety little fella, so you can't miss him. Thanks in advance. Okay. Alright, so... Get off the ship that way. Uh, i never find another... Okay, cool. So let's check out the tavern first. See if there's anything special we can do in here. Hmm... Okay, nothing up there. Anything in the back? Cheese, okay. It's just a performer. Working as a. I uh, hope you'll enjoy your time here. Okay. How about you, lady? Here to eat money? No, put that away. You're not paying for a thing. Okay. 
local the local shop profit has taken a bait since it started shaking. Okay, well maybe I can influx a little bit of peeg into those shops then. Okay, what about you? Ah, oh, I should have brought a swimming suit. Can you jump off the ship into the water? I guess the ship's not moving. At this rate, the shield bears will lose the war. We need your help. Anything will do. Resources, manpower. Please aid us. I've traveled far to make this plea. Uh. I'll help. Okay. Let's check out the place before. Okay, so we do need to go... Let's go ahead and sleep. Let's go ahead and sleep real quick first. Check out the shops. And then we'll go from there. So this is the trader. Let's buy a few Phoenix Downs. Um, okay, we don't really need much of anything else. Probably like one more teleport. Let's go see... Any good weapons? Viking axe. Okay. Not really anything better here, honestly. Just slightly bit of a shame. Actually, this will work for both. Okay, that'll work for both of those. Viking coat. Okay. This helps just about everyone. This helps just about everyone, so... I'm gonna buy four of those. Hermes sandals. Okay, let's go to equips. So, let's see, I, I already forgot what I bought. I know the Viking coat will help everyone, though. Well, I bought rods, right? Okay, the mithril rod will go. Because we, we have a new rod here. And the Viking coat. Go replace this rod with a rod of ice. Then we have the Viking coat. Okay, put the Viking coat on her. And we're probably set. Okay, we're probably good there. We still have 40,000 P. Any new spells? No new spells. Okay, fair enough. Let's go ahead and save. Um, also, there's nothing new I have to do, right? Oh, I can go through, I can fix all these, I can fix all the powers, I can go through and fix all the powers everyone. I can fix everyone, I'm really lazy. I can just do the ones I actually use at the moment. Like, you know, here's the whole thing a lot. Um, I use the whole time, I'm a lot. Wither Ripple, I have the features now. Oh, I need to use what I use. Moonbeam, so I can get 30%. Oh, that's new, I'll just put this here, these poison sounds good. Okay, that's really the things we use for everyone. Okay, guys. I think I'm gonna end the episode off here. If you guys enjoyed, uh, please leave a like and a comment as a personal channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless, and good